What's up, welders? Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for joining me here today in my secret welding lair somewhere deep beneath the metropolis of Toronto, Ohio. Anyway, what we're going to be talking about today is hardness and the difference or differences between stainless steel and mild steel. This is 304 stainless. This is 1018 mild steel. What are the differences? Well, for that, we're going to get out my handy notebook. You have a handy notebook, don't you? Where you keep all of your pertinent information? You should. All right. Stainless steel has 0.08% carbon. 1018 steel has, guess it, guess it, guess it, 0.18% er, carbon. Stainless steel 304 grade has 18 to 20% chromium. Mild steel has uh, zero chromium. Pardon me, having a dip this morning. You know, I live on nicotine and caffeine. I'm not going to go through this whole list except to tell you that the stainless steel contains chromium and nickel. The mild steel pretty much does not. They both contain manganese. Uh, they both contain phosphorus, sulfur, blah, blah, blah. But let's get into the differences between the two of them. How about density? The stainless steel is 0.289 pounds per cubic inch. The mild steel is 0.284. We're talking thousands of a pound per cubic inch. That's negligible. They weigh the same. On the Rockwell B hardness scale, the stainless is a 71, the mild is a 70. Pretty much the same. Um, the ultimate tensile strength of stainless steel, 73,200 pounds. The ultimate tensile strength of mild steel, 63,800. So when we're talking ultimate tensile strength, the stainless has a little bit more. Yield strength, 312, 31,200 pounds for the stainless, 53,700 for the mild. So the mild steel has a greater yield strength. And here's where you're going to see the difference. The, the elongation at break is 70% in the stainless steel, only 15% in the mild steel. And here we go with the Charpie hardness testing. 240 foot pounds it takes to put a notch in the stainless. Only 132 foot pounds to put a notch in the mild steel. And their thermal composites, the stainless steel will transfer 112 BTU per inch per hour per square foot, whereas the mild steel will transfer uh, 360 BTU per inch per hour per square foot. And that's it for the reading today of the AISI book. Why did we go all through this? Because stainless steel is harder, more brittle than mild steel, and we're going to see about cutting it. So let's look at some different examples of cutting it and we'll take a look and figure out which one is the best, what's the best way to do it. All right? All right. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to start with a file. This is just a plain old mill file. Now I didn't put very much pressure on that and you can see the mill file cuts the mild steel very nicely. Same with the stainless steel. They cut just about the same with the mill file. Next up, hacksaw. Now 
Now I'm not exerting any pressure here, I'm just letting the saw do the work. Now, let me zoom you in so you get a better look here. All right, right there is the notch we made with the hacksaw on the mild steel. And right there is the notch we made in the stainless. So you can see the differences are already starting to come out and show themselves. All right, I've got the stainless secured in here. We got a four and a half inch grinder with the cutoff disc. All right, that ran for, you know, about five seconds and we cut about a millimeter. Do the same thing with the mild steel. Now, I'm not putting any pressure on the saw. I'm just letting the, the blade do the work. And that cut a little bit more. Not a great deal more. They're relatively the same. But it did cut more. All right, next up, the bandsaw. All right, folks, we're at the bandsaw now. This is just a portable bandsaw. It's got a three-quarter inch wide 18-tooth uh, blade. I have it set for a relatively slow speed. We're gonna start with the mild steel and we're going to cut for 30 seconds and we'll switch over and do the stainless. the results of our bandsaw testing. Start with the mild steel. The 30 second cut yielded a cut of 0 0.2300. And now for the stainless. Point two two three zero. So we're talking a hundredth of an inch difference. So the bandsaw cuts each uh, equally well.
All right, folks, so there's um, our little wrap up of our, our cutting testing here. You can see the mild steel cut very nicely with the um, plasma cutter. I had to switch tips. I didn't realize that old one was going bad, so you didn't cut all the way through on the first shot. Now here's the stainless steel, and one thing that you need to bear in mind with the stainless is it's going to oxidize where you cut it with the plasma cutter, but it's nothing that can't be uh, taken away with a flap disc or a little scotch sprite or something along those lines. So whatever method you choose, whether it is a cutoff disc, you know, big friction wheel, uh, hacksaw, boy, that'll take you forever. Band saw, which I find to be the best method, or plasma cutting. Even though the stainless steel is harder, they both cut about the same. One exception to that I have found is this here steel cutting blade. This is like a $90 blade I have for my cutoff saw. And the first time I used it on stainless steel, it broke a tooth. So you don't want to use those on stainless steel, but any other method, it's going to cut just like mild steel. So that's it for this episode. We're at 471 viewers as of today. Remember, when we get to 500, we're going to be having the giveaway. That's it. Get the hell out of my shop. I got stuff to do.